Disabilities, Issues, and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living, Abilities, and Motion. Disabilities, Issues, and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living. Hello and welcome to Disabilities, Issues, and Updates. I am Teresa Faulkner, the Consumer Community Outreach Coordinator at Abilities in Motion, and I'm your host for today. Abilities in Motion is located at 210 North 5th Street, Reading, Pennsylvania. Please feel free to contact me concerning programming at tfaulkner at abilitiesinmotion.org or give me a call at 610-376-0010. My direct extension is 108. If I'm not available, please feel free to leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Today we have a guest from Paramount Living Aids, LLC, George Van Horn. Welcome to our show this morning. So glad to have you. Thank you. Teresa. On this beautiful Friday morning and indeed it is a beautiful morning. The reason that we had George on our show We've had some persons come into our office that are interested in stair lifts. And so we invited George to talk about some of the things that they offer at Paramount Living Aids. And again, it's a pleasure to have you. you. I know, George, that you offer more than stair lifts. So tell our viewers a little bit more about some other things that you offer at your company. So we also offer ramping, both modular and portable, as well as threshold ramps. And we also sell vertical platform lifts okay, and lift chairs and scooters. Wonderful, wonderful. So if you're watching our show to today and George has not mentioned some of the things that you think that they might offer, please, at the end of the show, we're going to give you some contact information and then you'll be able to call them and ask them directly. We're, uh, we're talking today about... Uh, stair lifts and what are some safety features that come with your stair lifts at Paramount? So our stair lifts have safeties built into them. So on the carriage assembly and as well as the footrest, there's micro switches that if they come in contact with something while the unit is traveling, it will stop it immediately. So then you can clear the obstruction and then continue to travel either up or down the steps. Now, one of the things, I know I asked the question about safety features that come with the stair lifts, but if a person is interested in a stair lift, does someone from your company come out and look and see if they are actually eligible to get one of those in their homes? So the first step would be to have one of us come out and do a free in-home estimate. That way we can come out, we can assess the staircase to make sure that it's wide enough for the application, as well as we take our measurements to see how long the stair lift needs to be. Uh, and then we also look at the, cu the customer themselves to see um, if it would be a good fit for them uh, based on their disability um, and things like that. Okay. Um, if a person actually installs a stair lift, will that render their, their staircase off limits? No. So when we install the stair lift, um, both the seat, arms, and the footrest can fold up and out of the way. So there's still enough room typically for one person to walk up and down the stairs. Uh, the units also come with remotes, so you can move the unit to the top or bottom to put it out of the way mm -hmm. so that you have more room to travel the stairs. Have you ever had any situation where the staircase was off limit? Did you ever have one where that ever happened? Generally, if the stairs, if we had to point where the stair lift would occupy too much space, that's probably a stair lift or a staircase that's too narrow okay. for a stair lift. Oh, okay. So there is a certain minimum width. Uh, that the stairs must be, but then also the, the height or size of the consumer will also dictate if they can be installed safely. Most of our uh, viewers, I'm sure, with October coming and the holidays coming, uh, are planning events for in their home, and they're concerned about how long this is going to take. Is installing a stair lift difficult? For a standard straight rail unit, we can come out, measure the stairs, and if everything works, we can generally install that within two or three days. Uh, we keep the products in stock 
because we know that sometimes people need them rather quickly or they need them to come home from, a, for instance, a rehab facility. Mm -hmm. um, however, we do also have curved rail stair lifts. Um, they're, they take a little bit more time because they're truly custom designed to the layout of your steps. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We think often, or I think uh, about persons who might be transitioning from a nursing home back into their homes, and they might need a stair lift to kind of make them more independent to be able to stay in their homes. So yeah, that, that, that's, that's really good. Let's discuss the benefits of, uh, uh, of the stair lift. Well, the benefit is, um, you know, when you need one, a lot of times your, your bedroom or the only bathroom in the house may be on that second floor. So uh, without that stair lift, they don't have access to get to that top level mm -hmm. and to be able to go to their own bed. So if, without the stair lift, sometimes people are forced to sleep on their couch. Uh, or uh, we had a gentleman, his, um, his tools and his hobbies are all in his basement. So oh, we can wow. install them from the first floor into the basement. So now he was able to access his man cave down what? there. To so. be able to enjoy the things. So he was, when we were done, he was really thrilled because he was able to go down there and enjoy his personal space. Right. And economical? They're kind of economical? Sure. So we have a new standard straight rail unit can be installed for less than $3,000. Okay. Sometimes we have used units as well available. They're kind of subject to availability okay. um, and we do have a rental option if it's just potentially a short-term need maybe for three or six months oh wonderful i was uh, uh when i was preparing for the show i know uh, our viewers are are very interested in how companies um uh how their customer service rating is and as i was reviewing some of your testimonials i i uh, was reviewing them on the website and some of the key things that I saw that person said in their testimonials that you all were very professional, uh, that you're on time, which is really good, that they would recommend uh, your company to families and friends, and you demonstrated what it meant to go the extra mile. These things are really good customer service uh, attributes. Very, very good. And we appreciate that. Thank you. Let's get back to some questions. Um, who will install the uh, lift once it is purchased? So once they decide that they want to move forward with it, one of us here at Paramount will come out and install it. And sometimes we take uh, two, two of us, but sometimes it can be installed with just one of us. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all in-house. It's all part of the Paramount team. Now, do you all even address the situations? I know like some of the homes, some, we have some beautiful homes here in Berks County and some of the woodwork and the wood carving, do you have to rip all of that out or? No, so the stair lifts are not mounted to the walls, they're mounted to the treads of the step themselves. Oh, so okay. if you have carpeted steps, um, you won't see it once the stair lift is removed. Um, if you do have hardwood steps, there would be some holes from where the clamps were mounted to the steps, but nothing a good carpenter can't fix with the a little little sanding and wood putty, make them look like new again. And what about electricity? Do they run on electricity or how does that work? So they run on batteries. Oh, There's okay. two batteries inside the unit and they power the unit when it's in motion. Um, now the unit does need to be plugged in uh, to recharge those batteries mm -hmm. when it's not in use and the unit maintains the battery. So once you plug it in and leave it turned on, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, however, if it's nice that it's battery operated because in a power outage, you can still use your unit because it is a battery operated unit. And in, uh, in, in it being battery, must you replace those batteries in the unit? Just like a car battery, about every three to five years, okay. you'll have to replace those batteries. Okay, and then those batteries, can they be purchased through you or you have to go through another a company or something? We, we service and sell the batteries, oh. so we can come out and replace them for you. We've talked a lot about, uh, you know, the stair lifts, the installing and all of those type of things. What's the cost look like? Well, for a standard straight rail unit, we can install it for less than $3,000. If we are looking at one of the custom curved rail units, uh, the average price based off the design layout uh, features that you can add on is generally between ten dollars to $12,000. 
Oh, wonderful. Well, if our viewers are looking to obtain more information and get e uh, details, more details about stair lifts or any of the other products that you offer, where can they contact you or email? Because you know it's very important. So you can contact us um, at 484-509-5024. That's our office number here mm -hmm. in Reading. Um, you can also contact us via email. It's info at paramountlivingaids.com. Or you can visit our website and discuss with our live chat agents. Wonderful. Which is www.paramount livingaids.com. Wonderful. We want to let our viewers know uh, that George is actually here. And um, again, he represents Paramount uh, Living Aids. However, we also have a listings or other listings at Abilities Emotion for companies that offer stair lifts here in Berks, as well as outside of Berks County. Um, let me just ask you some questions with installation. Have you ever had a difficult, a very difficult installation? And what did, what, what happened on that situation? Well, we try when we do the free and home estimate to truly look at the stairs to find any obstacles and then be prepared to solve that problem for the installation. So the basement step one, a lot of times there's a door at the top. Mm -hmm. So we know that when the chair is at the top and then it turns the swivel, they may or may not be able to close the door. Mm -hmm. So we can figure out a way to keep that appropriate length of rail and still be able to have the door closed with the door with the seat turned at the top. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's not possible, but we always try and figure out a solution that makes it operate uh, how it should. Persons sometimes are very particular on how things look once it's installed in their home. Uh, have you had to address those issues also? I know women can be a little picky about things, especially in their home, and men. Have you had to address some of those issues? Um, we have had one customer that didn't, uh, didn't want it installed because he was concerned it was going to, to the, after the stair lift would be removed, what it would do to his hardwood steps, mm -hmm. or they think it may look mechanical. But we do have demonstration models at our facility on Kenhurst Boulevard mm -hmm. that I always recommend if you can to come try it and look at it before you buy it. Wonderful. Now are the stair lifts only for adults? Or do you have stair lifts where you might have a child that might be have a disability? Do you address those also? So the stair lifts are designed primarily for uh, adults. Um, they do have seat belts so mm -hmm. it can help them. Um, some models have adjustable seat height uh, but for very small children, uh, stair lift probably may not, would not be the best option just because their legs would hang or the seat may not fit them properly. Okay, wonderful. I was thinking about one situation where a person who uh, is living in their home and they're using the stair lift to go up and down the steps, like maybe from a first floor to the second floor. But when they come off the stair lift, they might need to transition, uh, transfer to maybe a power chair or a wheelchair. Is those, are those type of things taken into consideration? Yes, so the seats do lock into place. Okay. At, at typically at the riding position, 45 degrees and then 90, 90 degrees at the top. So it can be locked in so they can safely transfer. The arms can fold up so there's more room to transfer. Um, sometimes it is very difficult, but um, it can be done. Now, uh, I, and I'm, I'm not sure, I know I've seen a certain type of lift outside the home. There are two different ones that can be installed, is that correct? So they do make outdoor stair lifts. Okay. So we can install an outdoor stair lift or maybe the, the device here meant is uh, the vertical platform yes, lifts. Yes, yes. kind I of like a so. short, uh, they look like a small freight elevator almost. Oh, right. So we can do the small rise outdoor vertical platform lifts as well. Now I noticed with those, you have to have a lot of room because it does take up a lot of space outside. So there's certain me uh, measurements and so forth for an outside lift? Correct. So for the vertical platform lifts, um, you need a minimum of a five by five concrete pad to set that on. Mm -hmm. And then any other, you'll need an outdoor electrical source and then it's best when the, the porch that's going to is level with the front door uh, to make that transition in your wheelchair or power chair. Now you had mentioned an outside electrical. 
Right. So the vertical platform lifts need their own dedicated line. Okay. So it's good to have a licensed electrician install so that to prior to the lift. And you you don't handle that. You don't deal with that at all. Or can nope. you refer to electricians? Or? Yeah. If they if we are working on one of those projects, we have some local electricians that we recommend. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, listen, George, that was a lot of uh, information, Mr. Van Horn, about stair lifts. And we sure can't uh, give all the information on a 30 minute show. And so uh, in closing from this particular segment of our show, can you please tell our viewers again where they can contact you and uh, how that works? So there's three different ways you can reach Paramount. You can uh, call us 484-509. 5024. You can visit our website at paramountlivingaids.com or via email at info at paramountlivingaids.com. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming and sharing. It was a pleasure having you. Yes, thank and you for uh, having I'll me. see you in the community, I'm sure. We also just want to highlight some announcements that are uh, that some things that are going on here in Berks County as well as at Abilities in Motion. Uh, I first of all uh, want to announce that we all know that Oktoberfest is coming up for BCTV. So watch the newspaper, watch um, television, watch YouTube, watch any type of announcements that are going to be coming up. And let's support our local television, BCTV, for their Oktoberfest. I'd also like to announce about Abilities in Motion is going to be celebrating their 30th anniversary celebration, Giving Thanks Annual Gala. And that event will take place October the 9th from 5 to 9 at the Doubletree here in Reading. If you're interested in purchasing tickets or if you'd like to become a sponsor, the information is located on the flyer that is being posted on the television or you can give us a call at 610-376-0010, extension 171. Listen, it's a beautiful day, a beautiful opportunity to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather because we all know that winter is about to come. Have a great day, have a great weekend, and we look forward to you seeing you on our show the next time. Disabilities, Issues and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living.